Updated numbers from Seminole County Public Schools shows quite a few students plan to opt out of face-to-face -face learning, at least for the beginning of the fall semester. 44% will return to the classroom to do face-to-face -face learning, 29% will do Seminole Connect, 15% will do the Save My Seat virtual option, which gives students the choice to return to the classroom at a select time in the school year. Meanwhile, 10% of students will do a hybrid option. With the first day of school set for August 17th, News 6's Clay Lepard shows us how feeding students will change. I'm ready for you, babe. Even the abnormal. Oh, have a wonderful day can become routine for parents such as Gina Parker. Almost daily, unless there's a doctor's appointment that conflicts with the pickup time. Or, yes ma'am. Picking up free meals for her children at Lawton Elementary. Through Seminole Schools Red Apple Dining. Since the pandemic closed schools in mid-March, Red Apple Dining handed out more than 830 thousand boxed up breakfast and lunch that was served with a side of simpler times. Four, four. Yes, However, this is the last drive through day. You got a Friday and a Saturday in here. Yep. Tomorrow, these teams shift focus to the fall. A lot of training. We have a lot of training in regards to sanitation. Preparing grade by grade for however many students fill these tables for face-to-face -face learning. So as far as this school, because every school has their own challenge, depending on sizes and things of that nature, we are sitting every third seat, all children facing in one direction. As they come in, they have to six foot separate. They have masks on until they sit down to eat. For those learning at home, the kitchen will not close. No, it's not going away completely. It's just relocating. Once school starts, some campuses in the county will continue to host drive through food pickup for those who receive meal benefits. In addition, we will have um, meals ready and prepared for those that are uh, have option to um, do remote learning. In Seminole County. How many for you, babe? Thank you. Clay Lepard, Getting Results, News 6.